I am the one. Who is Biko waiting for? Perhaps Subaru. He is the one to do what exactly? Free her from a contract that binds her? From hiding Roswell's Lolicon Dojins in this hidden library? There are so many interesting things happening at the present moment. Subaru. Well, let's talk about the first part first. I still don't know exactly if that was Amelia's body possessed or if that was Satala's flesh that was never destroyed. And the seal being weakened or someone broke it or it never existed, her getting out. And Satala interacting with Subaru, it's always so fascinating. And it's even more fascinating if you understand that in the cut content from the web novel, and I'm not sure if the Shadow Garden thing is light novel stuff too, but there was always this in undescribable love that Subaru has for Satala, even though he's quote-unquote never met her yet, which I think they have. And I think that he has a witch factor of envy. And I think that definitely we're using the authority of envy or something for return by that. Satala crying when we killed ourselves? It's weird, because by all means, she's this evil witch destroying everything. But when I saw her face crying, I felt like, I felt sad. I felt like, oh no, I'm sorry. And Subaru then reaches out and wipes her tears away and says, I'll save you. A very interesting interpretation of that, from me at least, was a subconscious Subaru that knows Satala from the past saying that shit. Just like how a subconscious version may have said the number 2000 in the season 1 finale relating to Satala's shadows. But there's this weird passage, again, it's more witch cult cult, uh, cut translations where... In the Shadow Garden episode, after the heroic run where, Jul where Julius kills Subaru because Subaru asks him to, another moment like this happens where there's like a dialogue for each sin. And for Sloth, it was about how Subaru felt bad that he couldn't wipe the tears off of her face. And I'm like, hmm... Well, back then, he didn't have the witch factor of Sloth, but now he does. Maybe it's just an easter egg Pape set out and it's just nothing too special, but something interesting to think about. There's like the Echidna Immortality Experiment with Ryuzu. And at the very end, we also clutched against Garfield by saying, I've seen hell. And he's like, mm. and there's like a secret that Subaru was supposed to tell Garfield that he was very like shocked by but we never heard it i think it relates to frederica somehow maybe it also relates to maybe the scar he has i'm gonna assume that maybe frederica gave him it a long time ago or maybe he got it by trying to protect frederica from something i'm not sure but hey we're at the mansion right now Biko, give us some answers let's begin today's reaction rem <laughs> So, Frederica has taken everyone, right? Frederica, Petra, Rem, they're all going to the sanctuary right now. And now we're trying to get Biko to come with us. It's ironic that it's Subaru that is saving Biko. Why? Because Biko has saved Subaru in the past before? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. The grimoire. <laughs> それ出す。お前は何を言ってるのかしら。それ出す。お前は何を言ってるのかしら。それ出す。お前は何を言ってるのかしら。それ出す。お前は何を言ってるのかしら。それ出す。お前は何を言ってるのかしら。それ出す。
Many years it's been empty. What the fuck are you doing here then? Clutching into an empty book that doesn't tell you anything. So are you telling me that all these different things were told in the past? Because she still has been acting according to the grimoire. I'm confused because it's been many years that you haven't received instructions. That means either A, these are past instructions from many years ago that you're following that foresaw this, or B, you're fucking capping. Hmm. Okay. Contract with who though? Ross? She. Who likes knowledge, guys? She, not Roswell. She. Who do we know? What's another spirit that has another pact with she? Echidna. Butterflies. Mm -hmm. It's gotta be. There's even extra butterfly like logos here now that i realize now that we're getting to see more of the interior designs there are so many things that are just butterflies even biko's eyes too right it was there all in front of us even ryuzu's like it wasn't ryuzu's science lab but that was a kidness lab that had a huge butterfly sigil in the beginning of the door look at her eyes <laughs> you think that you're being slick right now brother you're like a week behind Mm, that person. So, before, all those years ago, one day that person, it was the last thing she told me. Not the book, though. The grimoire didn't say? Or unless Echidna is the one writing into the grimoire, I'm not sure. But Echidna said, one day, the last thing she told her, one day he will show up. Mm. Are you the one? Oh, poor Betty. That's so troll. How many years? There's no way she's been waiting 400 years for this, right? Because the number 400 is always just like a really important number in this show. How long has she been waiting? Oh. Just end my suffering. Like, she just wants closure, huh? Yo, that's kind of fucked up, Echidna. You just told her one day he will show up to free you? And she's just been waiting? Doesn't even know when, who it's gonna be? And now it's just like, please, just free me from my misery? とは厳密には違うのよ。家の契約から関係していたけかしら。それが死にたいってのと何が違うんだよ。死にたいなんて砕けるな。他の誰かの前で言わせても俺の勝手な言い分なのよ。Is it? Since literally when Echidna died and everything, like everything is 400 years ago. 400 years ago is the Great Calamity. 400 years ago when all the witches, not all the witches, but Echidna died in Sanctuary shit. 400 years ago is how old Biko is. 400 is how long the White Whale, everything. Just for 400 years, she's just been here, sitting here, just waiting, waiting, waiting. That also implies Roswell's mansion is also 400 years ago? Yeah, exactly. Or, well, I don't know, because this is a hidden library, right? I'm not exactly sure that this domain is bound to the physical infrastructure of Roswell's library. Uh, Roswell's like a fucking mansion, but interesting. But it never came. That adds so much more context to in season one. Where we see Betty by opening the door and we think, Haha, lucky. Haha, <laughs> drill lolly. Wow, cute. What are you doing here? But every time to her, it was a chance of her finally being freed from this eternal contract. That's fucked up. <laughs> Is because that's where the owners 
future ends. But who is the owner of the grimoire right now? This is Betty's grimoire, right? Not Echidna's? The owner's future ends. It's no more being written because there's no more left. That's it? That means that Biko is destined to just forever be stuck here? Hmm. Maybe she's bound by something. No, 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 no killing. How about we break this contract? How about we get the fuck out of here together? This is so sad, Betty. Man, this season has been so sad and depressing for Betty, bro. I was busy being a fucking neat in Japan. How is this my fault? Yo, fuck it, Kidna. I blame Kidna for this. This is so cruel. Like, I love the Kidna up to this point. But she is a witch, man. And she gave her this empty promise. One day, he will show up. She's locked in here for 400 fucking years. Every time she, wa she thought that someone could save her, it was never that person. That hope is there. She didn't give up, but she wants to give up. This is... What do we do about this? I How do we break a contract, though? Like... I don't, I don't know that part. Like, how do you break this contract to leave? Like, there's a fulfillment to the contract, maybe. Right? And Subaru, I'm not sure if he truly is the one, but if he is the one, can we just not simply walk out here? Are we, is she still just bound? I didn't know. Like, I'm not sure if I can completely relate to this because I haven't lived for fucking 400 years for an empty promises, but I can definitely understand how it feels to cling on to that hope, even if you think it's impossible. And, and it seems like it's never possible, but you don't want to give up on it, you know? Because like, what if? So in the back of your mind, it's just this cognitive dissonance, just this battle of should I give up? If I give up now, then I can, I can just like at least have some closure in my mind, have some mental peace. But if I give up, then everything's over. I want it to be true. So for all this time, it's just been that struggle. And even in Memory Snow, right? Memory Snow showed us that exact sadness. Roswell was talking to Biko about how something about the sadness was there. It was all foreshadowed from that point. How do we break the contract? Make me the first. <laughs> My drill, Lolly. <laughs> this really is a season of lollies though, huh? Oh my god. Imagine he says I love Amelia at this point. That would be the most fucked up thing. But we need to put Betty as the first. We need to put Betty as the first, bro. Come on, bro, step up. Come on, bro, step up. Is that the only two options? The only way to break this contract and save her is to put her as her first over Amelia? And if that's not possible, then she has to just die? There's no way these are the only two options. This is sad. Spirits can't die on their own. You're the main character, bro. <laughs> this bitch is good at finding the hidden library. Yeah. Can Elsa be the person? <laughs> Elsa, all right, you and me, and, and then Elsa joins our party. Elsa simply joins the Amelia camp by severing the contract with Betty, bro. Elsa saves Biko, and then and Biko and Elsa can play all the time together, and we get our fan service, and everyone's happy. The perfect solution.
You're so early again. How does she keep buying it? Okay, it is literally just opening every door and then the last door is just simply this one. Is that just that simple? But damn, Elsa's found us every time. And she's so fucking early. But even if we leave on the first day, she shows up, huh? So like most likely Rosal's instructions has just like foreseen to this point. I don't know, man. Mm. It is pretty simple. Frederica, Petra. Did they get flanked by Mady? Elsa wants to see the guts of a spirit. I mean, too Betty, she probably just wants to die and just like just leave the world because she's so so sad about this shit. Oh, that tongue. Shamak. She can use Shamak too. Oh, bro, this is the real Shamak. Shamak. <laughs> What do we do, B? Mayday. The secrets, the remaining mysteries of Arc 2, right? Remember, bald shaman dog controlling the wool garms. Bald shaman dog was actually controlling the Ma Beast. But the bald shaman dog was only bald because the horn. And if you break the horn, of a witch fiend, you can control that witch fiend. Maybe was the one associated with the bald shaman dog. Therefore, it must be her. But how does she control the 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 guilty low, right? Because I get the bald shaman dog. She probably snapped it off. But the guilty low had its horns intact, unless she has some sort of different powers. Evil. Evil. So you're telling me she was just planted here this entire time as a secret agent? Like, I don't even know what faction she's from. Her clothing, I don't know if this means it's fucking witch cult. No, I, I, I don't know what the symbol is, but like, she was just here, just planted for the long con? Like, what? <laughs> yeah, there's the remaining mystery. Does she have some sort of divine protection that lets her like control mob beasts? <laughs> Even she's hitting us up with who is Rem now. Is she saying that because she actually doesn't know? Because she never actually met? But she kind of did, I don't know, but that's kind of fucked up. Petra dead again. <laughs> well, this is a ruined run, I think. We can't just... We got a loop, right? I guess this is where we die and go back. There's no way we continue this run. Like, Petra died. Rem, Frederica, who knows? Biko. We got closer with the Biko stuff. We got more data points, but fuck, man. Ooh, what was that? Wait. She approached from behind. Betty hand the lights purple and something deflected. Oh, it deflected that blade there. The blade was coming. The magic deflected that. I was like, what? <laughs> Damn, man. She is a shadow user. Okay, 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 okay. So, I mean, we know Shamak was used, but like, look at this shit. It's like shadow gems, crystal shit. There is a way to buy and you get hit by it. It like, what is this? Rotting? I don't know, but cool. Dark magic user. 
Can you teach that? Can you teach us that? More shadow. Mana arrows of the stagnant time. What is a stagnant time? Is this supposed to hint at some sort of lore of when like this shit used to happen back in the day? I don't know. You get hit by it once and it just like crystallizes. When it hit the trees before, it started to somehow run. Interesting. Oh, what I'm doing. If I was somewhere around the trees and I see this shit, I'm jumping out, I'm taking that fucking body, I'm fucking running away with that shit. That's mine. Even in this crystallized form, bro. Yeah, I, I guess this is the stagnant portion of it. It's not moving anymore. How slothful, but this fan service is crazy. <laughs> this fan service is insane. <laughs> All right, Biko so if Reinhardt couldn't kill Elsa, but Biko can, power scaling now is Biko above Reinhardt confirmed. <laughs> Alright. Nah, fuck them kids. This is the reason you're about to lose right now. Nah, 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 nah. She should. Mady honestly doesn't talk like a kid. Mady talks like a very mature adult. I don't. Is she really that age? I don't even know how old she is. True. No snitching? <laughs> oh my god. I do. <laughs> I wanna see lolly on lolly violence right now. Come on, Subaru. <laughs> oh my god, uh oh. <sighs> There's something off. I recognize that titty. That's Elsa. How? How? I just saw you turn into a crystal and you broke apart. What the fuck is she? It's like she has multiple bodies, multiple lives. Like, when she tanked Reinhardt's hit, too, she survived that shit. Like, dude, this girl is... What, what is this divine protection she has? Betty backstabbed. No guts. That's kind of fucked up, but new, I guess. Yeah, her jacket's gone. I can finally rest. Betty! Betty! <laughs> Is this Subaru's fault? Kind of. Right? Like, if we did not hesitate against Mady there, I don't think this backstab would have happened. This is a... This is a fuck-up from our end. <laughs> the spirits all just goes away, bro. It's like... It looks like a bunch of lesser spirits that created this great spirit, Betty, just like... Dissolving, huh? Look at all these particles. <laughs> Rest in peace, Biko. See you next run. <laughs> Couldn't even finish that. Well, <laughs> there's something interesting about this, right? Because like, her her jacket is off, and why is that? Well, she got crystallized and she broke. Okay, but what about the rest of her clothing? Why is this clothing back, but the jacket is gone? There has to be an association with that jacket, cape shit, and how she's alive, bro. There's gotta be something going on here. <laughs> Imagine being sacrificed for a boy like him is so disrespectful. <laughs> I think she just ended us. I think that maybe this is the same thing of how a spirit is able to suck the mana out. Remember how Puck and Biko can do that shit? It was confirmed in season one. I feel like Betty just did that shit, sucked all our mana out, ended our lives in peace. It's like showing mercy. I, I think this is like a painless, relative painless way of dying than just fucking. Dude, what's Elsa gonna do after this shit? Fuck her guts up? So I feel like Biko just did that. Thank you, Betty. <laughs> 
B for clutch. Where are we? Where are we? No, never mind. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. That was a teleport. That was a teleport. His eye is still fucked up. If we get out of here, this is where the shit starts snowing and then we saw the bunnies. I remember this scene. This is where we teleported to that last time too and Patrice threw us at a barrier. Now, I don't think enough days has passed for the bunnies to show up yet though. Is it? Please no snow. Please no snow. Please no snow. <laughs> it's snowing. It's snowing. The bunnies. The bunnies, bro. It's the sound check again. Oh, can we go see a kid now, maybe? I don't know. Emilio. Subaru? Emilio's up? Emilio. Nah, this is weird. No, 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 no. Something is off here. You can't see Emilio's eyes? It's shadowy? No. Something's changed. Something is 100... This, is, this isn't how she usually talks. Is Sato the possessor? What's going on? Is this Sato in her body? I don't know. What the fuck is going on? Emilio wouldn't be like this. Emilio. Satala is also very lonely. This is good. I don't like this. Right, the letter. The letter we wrote. And we joked about how it's pointless because we would loop and it'd be a waste, but she didn't get the letter? I never stopped believing, okay? Is this... What does Sugoku mean? Do you, do you guys know what Sugoku usually means when Amelia says something? I'm just trying to figure out if there's like a speech pattern difference here of like, is, is this where she should have usually... Really? Re, long, I never stop... Okay, okay. I, I, am I reaching here? I'm, I'm like, what if the real Amelia would said Sugoku here? But I don't know. Z okay, okay, okay. Yeah? Bitch, did you clear the trial though? Did you clear the trial? I don't like this. This is really scary. Okay, she says Sugoku there. She says Sugoku there. So this is her. But what? Her eyes? Like, half of it is Subaru. But I know he has like a blind... I know he has a band that's covering this shit. But you can also see some sort of like shadowy elements in the eyes to hint that like this is Satala possessing her, kind of? I'm not sure. What's the imagery trying to tell me? Hmm. Yeah? Not even Puck? Because, like, the real Amelia would never talk like this, not in a million years. I know that Satala would, but I just have a hard time trying to figure out. Like, is this just Amelia gone crazy? The imagery seems to be trying to hint something else. But, like, is this just the true Amelia that we never knew? I don't know. <laughs> Did she just like fail the trial so much that her mind broke? Her mind broke? And she's like this now? Or... What? Is this Satala possessing? Or what? I don't know. Also another interesting thing is... It's snowing outside. You know? It's snowing outside, and we thought that maybe the snow was happening because the rabbits already ate Amelia, and therefore Puck came out and was snowing. But Amelia's still here, seemingly. So maybe that is wrong now? I'm not sure. There's a lot of snow still. Not Puck, I guess. Wait, wait, wait. So... She's... Okay, how does she say I love you here? Hold up. Daisuke. Not Aishiteru. Daisuke. Okay. 
Like, if that was Satala, it would be a bit different, you know? Daisuke is not what she usually says, but, like, this is just Mind Broken Amelia, and she's just chilling in there, and we're just walking out? Okay. Also, another thing, Satala would call Subaru, Subaru-kun. There was a very specific way Satala called out to Subaru last episode, Subaru-kun. I'm not sure if that's important. Right, but eh, I don't know, maybe it is. Inside. How do you feel about that, bro? Yeah, but. Garfield's getting mad. So that we could have melted together? What? We're so close. We're so close. So close that we could have melted together. What does that mean? Melted together? We're gonna freeze together and melt together? <laughs> My king knows though. Hey, say what you will about him, alright? Say what you will about him. At least he's very aware, okay? He is very aware of his position. It is very sad, but he knows. <laughs> Not right now, at least. That's not Amelia, bro. But maybe it is just my fault. Puck busy getting milk. Someone pushed her to the point. She had no choice but to rely on me. I would like to think that it might be Echidna because she's the one with the trials. But at the same time, a certain pervert clown seemingly is the puppeteer behind the scenes. And it is his best... I, 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 my default answer is always Roswell. I'm gonna guess that this is Roswell. He hired Elsa to do that shit in order to clear the mansion fastly. He is literally using himself as bait for the snow bunnies to show up so that we don't waste time here with the sanctuary shit. Roswell is perfectly fine. With Subaru failing over and over as long as this means that he can try to fucking figure out how to make Amelia pass. Or he just wanted Amelia to be in the state to rely on Subaru. I don't know. But I feel like this is all calculated by Roswell no matter what. He said half elf. He said half there instead of half elf. Interesting. Bring Amelia out here and have her snap the snow? Impossible? What's she doing in there? Just chilling in the yandere mode? How much of the episodes left? Decent amount. Okay. Oh, okay. Another time for one of these Subaru or Roswell moments. I, that's all I care about in this season. This Roswell Subaru dialogue. Like, give me one of those and it's a 10 out of 10 episode. <sighs> So, oh. His smile changed there. He, he went from cloud mode Suarukun to oh, which is his business now. So, did a different. Did you hear that from me? Did you hear that from me? My regression theory isn't working anymore, is it? Because I'm assuming that he has the grimoire and is listening to that shit for instruction, but is also regressing back together. But if you say, did you hear that from me? That implies that he has no memories of that happening. What's he meaning here? Clown theme plan. Clown theme. <laughs> That was the right question, I think. Thank <laughs> <laughs> used her to kill Garfield. I mean, we, I mean, we know he's insane. I, I mean, we know he's insane, but like... Holy shit, did the Grimoire tell you to do this shit too? 
Holy fuck, the mask is coming off right now. This might be the best episode of ReZero at this rate. Don't feel dead, honest? That is what I'm saying. Super literally. Eh? What's happening right now? That's a very interesting line. I shall keep my promise. I'm a man of my word, implying there's some sort of promise. I shall offer this soul to you. Now, I don't know what this soul means here. <laughs> Is he saying about his own soul? Is he saying, I'm sending like, like Garfield's soul with you to the afterlife because you two are lovers? Like, what is that meaning here? You man of my me. words? <laughs> Greatest magician in the kingdom. His martial arts, his physical strength is really strong. He stabbed through both of them. He kicked Garfield's head off here. <laughs> I mean, if I was him in this state, like, considering everything that's happened to him, and Roswell does this shit, yeah, I would be shocked too. I am in shock. What the hell is happening? In accordance with my vow, shall we talk? Whose vow? Who, who did you make this with? I, I have no clue. Let's talk? Oh. This is a sociopath. You know what I'm saying? What I, what I tell you. Now, it might be the textbook definition, but I've been telling you. There are some people that understand killing is bad. Yeah. Killing is bad. But some people are able to dissociate from that. They know it's bad, and they're like, Okay, I'll still do it, though. We need to have a talk, Subaru. Have a seat. The clown is becoming my favorite character more and more right now. Everything he just did to Ram and Garfield, just like, I loved Roswell already due to the mysteries. He's just doing this right now. Like, do more, please. Really? Garfield is so strong and Roswell is very injured. That was the only way to kill him. Alright. <laughs> He does usually, but I'm in just an utter shock right now because you just did it. Usually he is super mad and upset, but it's like, you're doing it. Like, what? Regressing. <laughs> Clown things back. Did the clown theme just evolve? I don't remember this part of the clown theme. Because he can loop. And why would that be? I mean, we know it. I, we know. We, we know Roswell. Knows about Super's regression based on the passage of try again next time. Like, try not to make any mistakes next time, Natsuki Subaru, but oh my god. <laughs> How long? Since when? Grimoire. Grimoire. Yes. B but does this keep getting patch notes? Because B could stop getting patch notes, right? And I'm still not exactly sure why, right? The last thing that, the, that her book told her is like, he will show up one of these days or something. Does that somehow relate to Echidna? I have to go back to the episode and really study that. But like, what about your book? Does it keep telling you shit? Rip. <laughs> to be free. Nah, dying like that wasn't. It was... 
just being released from that eternal contract though and just this happened to be the one way that we did in this loop Envy? And, and his wish is to kill Volcanica, the dragon that made the covenant, right? In order to free Echidna's soul because Volcanica is the one behind the seal, behind the sanctuary and Echidna being in there, right? Because his wish at the end of the day was make Emily queen and then kill the dragon, right? お前は何がしたいんだよ。なんでそんななんだ。にも制約が。With the faster there's a time constraint, right? The more snows and uses Russell as bait and the bunny show up. It makes you to fucking figure it out more and more. If these constraints were not in place, he could simply fuck around. And Roswell ain't got time for that shit. Or at least the book is telling him to do it so. <laughs> Isolate Amelia. <laughs> yeah. Emotionally unstable, like how she is right now. And she is so dependent on Subaru. And before in the passage we were talking about, someone must have made this happen or something. Roswell wants Amelia to be dependent on Subaru? Okay. So the letter... There's still some mystery with that letter, huh? I'm not sure if it's that important. But it seems like Roswell's not familiar with the letter that he gave Amelia, huh? Or it, 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 the letter, he was shocked there, right? Because the implication is, if the letter wasn't, if she got the letter, then she would know what would have happened to Subaru and it maybe wouldn't have gotten that crazy. I, I'm not too sure. That's right, because the future indicated in the text was the optimal outcome. There is a solution here, but the current self of Subaru cannot do it. So, just try again more and more. Correct?俺を殺す気か。殺すとは本末君にはどうあっても次の機会に。I cannot kill you. Huh? Roswell cannot kill Subaru. It's against the rules. He's forbidden from doing so regarding maybe it's some sort of vow, some sort of pact. I don't know, maybe the book specifically told him not to do it. <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Did I use that one right? Was, was, that, was that a little joke about how, you know, it's like a... It's like a key word that he, you know, Japanese people use. I don't fucking know, but like, am I wrong? Okay, so he's just gonna fuck him up now? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. He's just gonna fuck him up. Over and over. Did, 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 did prove a point? Because this is implying that, like, he thinks that if he punishes Su I guess he has no, he doesn't know how it's triggered. Like, he thinks that Subaru triggers it on will if it's too hard and he bails out. So it was never, okay, so, huh. Okay, there's a limitation on how much he know, but this is hilarious. He just beat the shit out of him, try to force him to fucking just change. <laughs> And I guess because he said this is not smart to do it because of the future we share, if he beats him, beats the shit out of him, the next loop, Subaru is probably gonna be a little upset and angry, right? So Ross will say, ah shit, you're gonna hate me for this, but hey, I think this is a lesson you need to learn. He's insane. Yeah, he is insane. <gasps> We're gonna get eaten, we're gonna get eaten, 
god. Oh, you are the cataka. Just threw him out there. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, this time, please do not go up my ass and eat me from inside out. Just go for the brain first. Please, just go my ear. Just eat my brain and end my misery. Please do not go through my ass first. Yep. And Roswell is Lord's mana. No? Rosal saying, fuck it, I'll see you in the next loop right now, right? Huh? Wait, 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 wait. I'm not finished, hold up. Mm. What's the mistake? What's the mistake? See, I thought it made the most sense that he could regress back and that's why he was so fine with just fucking shit up in the timelines. But he literally can't. The book tells him things that he should do to Subaru. But he's literally dying every time with the blind YOLO thinking that Subaru will loop again and me in that timeline will simply carry my will. I thought that I knew him. I thought that I thought he was insane. I didn't know insanity. This is pure insanity. With the insurance of the regression, it is still crazy enough what he's doing. But he can't even do that. He throws away his life in every fucking run, listens to the book. That's pure insanity. He, he is YOLOing. He's just fucking YOLOing every run without direct proof that it's going to work. But here's the other thing. It's not, it, there is some proof though, because in every successful run, he does see, holy shit, this kid showed, remember, think about the mansion, right? Think, think, if this has been happening from the beginning, think about the mansion. He arrives at the mansion, Subaru is like, oh, you hired a clown. And he's probably thinking, hmm, the book was true, but I'm still suspicious. And later on, he saves the village, right? Russell descends with Ulgoa. At these points, then he's like, hmm. You know what? I think the book's cooking. At that point, he has enough assurance that it's going to work out. Then with the white whale subjugation shit, right? It did work. Better goes to slain. It did work. And he's like, yep, this is my golden ticket. This is my lottery. I will literally swear my life to you and I'll do whatever you want. Like, not do whatever you want, but I will follow you to hell. This is crazy. This is actually fucking crazy shit, yeah. Up, up, up until arc two, he was suspicious because there wasn't enough credits. But in arc three, once he realized the villagers are done, the villagers are saved, right? At that point, he had enough data points to be like, yep, I trust this motherfucker. I'm leaving. Good luck saving Amelia against Better Goose and the Whale. Crazy shit. A different me, bro. Insane! He's, a, he's not normal. <laughs> Bro is fucking One day you will surpass my insanity. You're not there yet. You know? Right? Like you're you're getting good, but you're still a fucking baby compared to me. Yeah. What a mentor. <laughs> You can become like me. The Super Bowl theories, bro. He truly is our greatest mentor, man. I mean, not it, so. Subaru? No, there's more. There's more. There's more. Okay. <sighs> Roswell is probably my favorite character in this show at this moment. Yeah. I, I, I think at, like, up until now, Roswell, better use these were always like my favorite characters because of how insane they were. No, I didn't know what insanity was. This is true fucking insanity. Like, this is insane. This is actually so fucking crazy. And like, he's like being our mentor. You don't even know what true insanity is. Like, one day you can be like me. You can surpass me. Just keep it up, bro. Like, Roswell, he, he is a great mentor, man. I love this guy. <laughs> What's going on here? Did we not die? 
Maybe a loop or what? He survived the. Subaru. What is she doing here, bro? What is the Yandere? Why is she just chilling here? She just sits here doing nothing? And soup. Yeah, I guess Super would just survive the rabbit attack somehow. Subaru? Yeah, Subaru. <laughs> oh, she was with her jacket. Yeah, she had her jacket there. Did you see that? This is her jacket. Bitch, can you heal us? Do you not see us fucking half dead? <laughs> you are so insane. I don't know who's more insane right now. Emilio or Rosmo, bro. Yeah? <laughs> this is a nightmare lap pillow? Are we gonna get a nightmare lap pillow? Ah, the soundtrack is so creepy. This is so creepy, dude. <gasps> oh, you can see all the injuries from the rabbit, bro. Bro, this is just like... This is some nightmare like fucking scary soundtrack fucking I don't even know it's like the toy box theme everything is so distorted the visuals are distorted Emilia's gone fucking crazy we're halfway dead bro <laughs> End my misery. Very selfish. I think it's bleeding out. <laughs> and their first kiss with Amelia is the taste of death. I don't know what is happening, bro. But I do know that this might be my favorite episode so far because of the Roswell scenes. What is happening here, do you think? I thought that it was Satala possessing Amelia's body, but maybe it's not. In fact, I think this is just a mind-broken Amelia. And if you remember, if you remember Frozen Bond, remember when Amelia was scary? When the merchant was so scared and Amelia showed up and Amelia said, never enter my forest again. Now, I'm not sure if that's the right comparison, but there was a moment when Amelia showed me that kind of dark side and I was like, whoa. And this, was that hinting towards that? I am not sure, but it looks like our princess can turn like this if she is isolated, left alone and pushed to the fucking limits. This is fucking terrifying. The Roswell scene, this is a 15 out of 10. All my life watching ReZero for the last like, what, a month and a bit? It's from season one, just obsessing, obsessing over what is Roswell doing? Why is he doing these things? And as we get to get to get a little bit more answers throughout the beginning of season two, I thought that he could regress. And we got to get more hints that he knows Subaru's secrets. And I thought that was it. It was that simple. Roswell was confident with throwing away each timeline due to his regression. No. No, bro. He doesn't know. He, he doesn't have the power. But he does it every time. Because he is absolute proof through the grimoire that everything he's done for Subaru so far has worked out. So he's perfectly fine with throwing his life away. See, I thought I'd see, I knew insanity. This is true insanity. When he donated Ram and Garfield at the same time. I'm like, oh, this is gonna be fucking peak. Today's episode was just a nightmare. Of course, there's more important shit that happened with Biko stuff. Right now, I'm just so just captivated by sociopath, insane clown, hentai pervert Roswell, and mind break Yandere Amelia. <sighs> this is a thing of nightmares. And you know what the best part is? What's gonna happen next run? <laughs> what? What's gonna happen next run when we show up to Roswell's place? Are we gonna have more insane conversations? I don't know. Well, that's it from me. If you're still here though, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time.
Take care.